my love of nature came from my dad. He had six daughters and he would take us out running through the woods to give my mom a break from us. And so that kind of embedded the nature that we love. We would run through woods in Butler University, uh, Holiday Park, on the Shades Park, Turkey Run. And to this day, we all still go out hiking in mountains and deserts and coastal lines. I felt like I needed to find my own voice. And so when I started working abstract, I decided I had to get that feel of how it feels to be there. And that's been my motivation. At losing the detail, you can kind of get more of a sense of movement, more sense of light, more sense of textures that were there at the time that you cannot get with detail type work. What I have here is probably the start of my first real abstractions. We went to Colorado and it was there that I decided I'm just going to take the plunge and do abstract work. And we were hiking along almost towards the end of our trail and this picture here was a ferns and their goldens to greens and the sun came in and it was so warm it was just breathtaking. The photo doesn't do it justice and that's another reason why I like to do abstracts. The photo doesn't give you the sense of the warmth and the feel and the color that you, I can get I feel when I do the abstracts. So the one just below it here is some of my practice, kind of like sketches as you might say, trying to get the elements that I think were important. I'll look at my work in a mirror just to see if it's balanced. It gives you a new eye to see things. I use this all the time. When I was teaching, I'd have my kids always look in the mirror. If something is off, it will stand out like a sore thumb. So it's kind of a fun way to get fresh eyes. So here is where I might look in the mirror and see if that stands out too much. But I kind of like it. I just don't like the edges. Yeah, that kind of gave it a depth there. I redo it just if it doesn't feel right, I'll add to it. Or maybe I've learned something new since the last time I did it. I might be adding some more of my textures and some more of my lines. A lot of times I do these and I set them aside and I come back and look at them and think, you know, I need to change something, so I'll change something like that go to a place, I love nature, I find it very powerful, very spiritual, and sometimes uh, for whatever reason, a Grand Canyon or a cliff with waves, you get this overwhelmingly powerful moment at the time when you're seeing it, and I'm trying to relay that as how it felt to be there.